great people that uh, I was introduced to by war uh, was uh, the great Mr. Bobby Womack. He uh, and I just clicked so wonderfully because uh, we were recording in the same studio in Burbank, California, and Magic Wand Studios in Bur out of Burbank, California. And he heard me, and I was so excited that he was there. And uh, uh, he said, "I got something you need to do." He had just come off a tour with the Rolling Stones, and I say, "Really? You know, I'm all bright-eyed, and the lights are on in my head." The great Bobby Womack has something for me to do. He says, yes. He says, uh, Ron Woods of the Rolling Stones is producing an album by Ringo Starr, and they're looking for a girl to sing some gospel, uh, and I'm taking you, and come on. And I said, okay, and oh boy, I got the Rolling Stones and the Beatles in the same set. You know, it is a moving fact. Oh my God, you know, how much excited can you be? Those are the two world-renowned groups of the world. Uh, and that was my path, and I recorded on that album. I think uh, the Ringo's album was called The Rose, but uh, the album, uh, the song that he used me, he and Ron Wood just wanted me to sing on a tune called Brandy. I'm sure you will remember that song. So many people have uh, covered it. And on from there, I met a wonderful woman that, uh, oh, a great creation of the Lord. And, and this is Women's Month, and I want to just say uh, she was a great uh, encourager of mine. Her name is Miss Diane Reeves. Uh, she was attending L.A. Community College at the time and uh, studying her music, and uh, she, I was introduced to her by my next-door neighbor, and we just clicked together. She took me with her to be on the album of the, uh, another Houstonian when she found out I was from Houston, but she was out of, uh, she had some Denver ties, and I was out of Denver, and we just had so many things in common that we clicked, and she took me with her to be on Every Generation with Ronnie Laws, and uh, I was so excited with that, and she would drag me to her school performances to just the same backup for, and oh, she just had such, uh, I was just so excited to be in her presence, not knowing what a great, uh, she would accomplish what great accomplishments would go on to be a part of her life, and then and and then from there I can speak about uh, Sly Stone. Um, he gave me the opportunity to work on I think one of his final main recorded albums, and Who in the Funk, and he was just so full of creativity, and and I, I was so blessed just to see how he operated in the studio and how the music flowed through his mind and. And I was so happy to be on that album along with another Texan girl, a friend of mine, her name is Miss Marcy Thomas, who was with Undisputed Truth. And we got together and we uh, put a group of, call ourselves the only females in the band. I was the only girl in war, she was the only girl in Undisputed Truth, and we had Patrice, the only girl in, in the Grand Central Station. And, and we would do uh, studio work, the only girls in the band. And, and we were called in to do stuff for people like Ike Turner and uh, 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 Ray Parker. And, and, and we, we did studio work as the only girls in the band. But uh, from, from, from war, uh, my life continues, uh, even today. Uh, I am one of those people that believe in passing the torch. There's no knowledge given you that you should not pass on. And I get a thrill out of showing and uh, instructing and uh, giving insight. If you have an a, a inclination to want to be musically inclined, uh, I have a passion for educating. And uh, I'm still performing, but the Community Music Center of Houston, I connected with them in 1992 and have been and somewhat in way of fashion involved. But today I'm as a director of vocal department, vocal coach in the staff there. And uh, we are growing. And it was such an honor. I have been honored uh, to receive a, a Living Legend Award from the Black Music Academy uh, on last year during the pandemic. And uh, just so many things that I, uh, have come my way. but just to be a part of a celebration of women and to tell how important it is 
to not only have a desire to educate yourself about what you desire to do and have confidence, have faith, and don't mind failing because you know that don't work and you'll find a workable solution. Thank you so much.